Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for combo. Let's see how long the opponent lets us do cool things. Triggers. What is happening? Commanders. In my opinion, the most broken deck you're gonna see. Monkey. This is Historic Brawl. I think you've heard that generic intro before. It's my vacation. Hello, it's me at CGB. Here's the deck list. Cha ching And now let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Nadu, that's new. Who plays that? On the play. Uh, hmm, land tax on the play. I guess we have to try it. The solitude's helpful. Nightmare. Yeah, let's go for the land tax on the play. <laughs> Any not who's going to play? I wouldn't mind if you didn't, but you know. We are both here. We are in Necro deck. Go ahead and uh, get the Godless Shrine and begin taxing them lands. Nothing. What am I supposed to do with that? We decline because we have Nightmare. Hello to my friend. See you in my nightmares. Wow, a growth spiral. Must be really good at magic to play that card. All right, Necropotent's mana is here. We can balance the mana a little bit more going forward. Oh, they came up with that. Okay. Bushwhack. Well, let's see. We take our shots. They hit land. They did not hit land. Okay. Get that Nadu out of here. Bushwhack nothing. Yeah. All right. Well, they only are ahead by like 20 cards. This is fine. And you don't thin your deck unless you expect to draw land. That's how it works. All right, Nightmare. Soren. Sack this. Here we go. Cast this. Trigger extort, pay. I mean, just the extort off of Virtue will trigger Soren. So hopefully, well, they're going to play a whole bunch of rampy stuff like this Provisioner. And they might be able to protect it, which could be a huge issue. I mean, we thin. We're going to thin the deck as much as we possibly can here because you know what happens when you thin your deck? You draw land. Right of Oblivion. Right of Oblivion. Is that going to resolve? Really want the Virtue to resolve so I can transform the Soren. You could also just extort, right? We have six. Well, that's. Oh, Soren attacking. Okay. Soren attacking does the thing. Yeah. Are we sacrificing my land tax? <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe. I really want the virtue to resolve. Let's try this.
Hey, that worked! Sometimes I even amaze myself. They don't have anything. Why don't they have anything? You'd fight a monster like me. Gain control of target creature? I mean that's 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 the plan, right? We're gonna get to Nadu. But really Soren's in here because the extort, the foods, we've got a ton of ways in our deck to pay life. And Soren makes it all stronger. It's like a Crick deck, but with access to white, which is a big deal. If they only knew how many lands I could truly hold. <laughs> oh, come on, Nadu. You're not roping out, are you? Come on. What kind of a cowardly Nadu ropes out in the spot like this, huh? Dude, I, I, I'm going to make them rage out. I, I made them scoop to a black-white Soren deck. <laughs> I draw another land. Yeah, where are you at? Oh, you're still here. Get out. Nobody wanted to see you in the first place. Nadu, that's... Well, that's uh, the only deck in the meta. So we play against it a lot. Uh, Candy Trail? Is this a good anti-Nadu hand? It's got some removal. Is it going to run out of land? Maybe not. We have the trail. Lich's Mastery, slightly expensive. I thought sees you. Growth Spiral, Tireless Tracker Rebuke. Hey, that's a land. Also a Necropotence we can cast after a missed land drop. I mean, that's the plan, yeah. Okay, we keep. I don't like it. I'm nervous. But life for cards is kind of our jam. Drain me. Uh, decline. Must be nice to draw mana drain when you want it. I know we could try to play around them cracking this. They're not going to. At least not in a way that will advantage us. They're just trying to make sure I'm miserable. Wow, so they top deck Mana Drain into Jwari after being completely butt naked as far as counter magic goes. Well. Here we go. Toxic Deluge might be nice. They're enjoying life as a landfall deck. Getting low on stuff. 
We missed one land drop. Let's see if that costs us the game. Deluge him? I don't think so. Virtue? Deluge gets Nadia without a trigger. No real reason to crack here. Our opponent has decided to do it anyway. Okay. Put a stop on end step. I've got a plan. To kill that tracker. Let's go down to one. Mania? A bit. But I've got March of Wretched Sorrow, and I know exactly what I want to do with it, which is gain as much life as possible, get as much card selection as possible, and make my opponent wonder what is going on. Got to have a stop on this end step, so this is going to take a minute. Bear with. Do I have a way to discard that Grizzle Brand without exiling it? I don't think I do. Necro Dominance. Okay. Now. How much? We gotta separate all the cards we wanna exile. So there's one, two. Three, four. Five, six. Seven, eight. Let's keep Invoke Despair. And Toxic Deluge, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We go up to 13. Now discard wise, we don't need you. Do we want the tower? We have enough black. So we don't need you, you, fetch land, fetch land, tower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put you over here. What is a spell we can discard that we don't need? We still want to use the reclamation. Do we need Angel of the Ruins? Not really? Don't want to put this in the graveyard. Anything we discard here gets exiled, which is important to understand. Actually, we want to keep a fetch land for the Paragon. Yeah, we do. Okay, so tower goes over here. Then it is Esper Sentinel, I think? Or Angel of the Ruins? It's Angel of the Ruins. All right, end. Discard six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those of you easily bored are going to be crucifying these plays as like, oh my God, Brawl is so boring now. Look at all this clicking. Those of you who want to play good magic are hopefully enjoying at least seeing it all come together. Yeah, there still is a planes in the deck. Yeah, we lost the Godless Shrine. We lost the Sunlit Marsh, but there's still a planes we can get. Well, Blue Llama, are you impressed? I mean, you're the great and powerful Nadu. Just win the game. Just play some cards and win. What, what's so hard about that? Uh-huh. Kaka. What do you think? Did they draw another counter spell? Let's find out. Maybe I'm supposed to deluge them first. Actually, because they might have drawn a counter spell instead of invoke despair, if that gets countered here, it's such a blowout. If Deluge gets countered, I can still get down my Esper Sentinel. 
All right. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Why would I play my Esper Sentinel and then kill it? Just bad at magic, I guess. Just bad at magic. Maybe I should ramp instead. Eh. We'll go five just in case it's a pump spell. I guess it could be blossoming to set d defense. We can go six. And we'll go five. I can't believe I played the Esper Sentinel first. It's been a long day, guys. A very long day. No hollow storm giants over there, right? I'd miss it at a time like this. What are they gonna do? Rebuke me? Look at me, I don't need any cards. This can become something in a graveyard? Almost. Yeah, I cast it again. Very good. Very, very good. And an audacity, yes. And a land, wow, what a pro. Okay, they drew that audacity or they would have played it. Well, they drew two cards last turn, right? So, yeah, well. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Okay. <laughs> Another card draw, disgusting. We go to three. Bat? That's helpful. What are you going to do? Play Nadu? <laughs> can they just become a tracker and kill me with this? No, they have. Yeah, they can. Let's see if they do it. They don't. Okay. We got to watch out for that. We were basically dead on board. Hmm. Right of Oblivion gets the Nadu. Bat and Reclamation? There we go. Only the best for House Markov. Finally, Necropotence Freedom! A Brainstorm. I bet you'd like to cast it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, do I gain the three life, transform this? I go to six, which means I'm not dead to the tireless tracker line. I think having this transformed would be really good, but I also think having this bat will be really good. Hardening question, flare of cultivation, lotus cobra. Hardening question. Yeah, start gaining all this life back. We threw so much in the trash. But Nadu's up to costing nine, and the opponent has eight. And if they just play it here, Rite of Oblivion is ready. If they rebuke me, whatever. I'll just play this stuff again. No big deal. Pretty cheap.
Did they figure out that they can turn the land into a tireless tracker? They did! They figured it out. Okay, now what? I think it's Paragon. And I can attack with Soren. So yeah. Uh Paragon. Marsh flats. Fetch. Game two. Attack. Life. Up to six. Then deals damage equal to the amount of life you gained to any target. Currently four. They're at 13. I don't think I can get there. I think you're kind of close. There, that's dead. Black market? Can they get me for five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Close. If with with an untapped land, they can get me for three. Okay. It's a lot of little life total manipulation, isn't it? Is this where I get rebuked? Probably. But, you know, been waiting for it. We've lost our Necro Dominance, Lich's Mastery, and Grizzlebrand. Some of the biggest engine pieces, but I don't think that was wrong. We put ourselves in a good position. That is a scary card. Okay, we are under Hall of Storm Giants pressure, and we can't forget about it. What's down there? Esper Sentinel is a card we could play. I don't think it would matter to my opponent very much. Necropotence a card I could play? That seems pretty bad. Well, let's start with Soren. Reanimate. Reanimate a Lotus Cobra, I think. Maybe it should be a tireless provisioner, but I like Lotus Cobra here. Unlocking the mana gate. <laughs> the mana situation is huge. Extort again. Take the question. Leave them with, I guess, what they draw off these clues. And then we can transform this if we extort one more time. And I guess the trail is a good way to do it. Also holds up life gain from the trail itself. Also a clue. Cling to dust. Is there something about their graveyard I need to ruin? Do they have exactly delirium? They have five. Uh, still, cling to dust is not a bad card here. Let's keep it on top. It can surprise them. We transform. And what is the life we've gained this turn? Three? We could hit them to three. Uh, let's go food. And really set up for a fireball. Down to eight. It's very close now. We're almost in position to burn him out with Soren. We can go to face. Yep, big kitty. Amazing how many times we killed Nadi with this deck. That our opponent's given up on it. Never mind. Just when I say something. We do not sacrifice here. We just need seven damage. This is easy. 
absolute easy mode. Go over here, target the provisioner. We can extort. We can sack here. And then we can even add a little more just to be sure. And to the face. Nadu defeated by life gain. Nadu, 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 Nadu. Uh, Davriel, invoke. Let's go. Nightmare's Thirst, one of the tech cards. Gain one life, then minus X, where X is the amount of life gained. Good with Extort. Good with a number of cards in the deck. So the subtle light gain synergies turn it into a good one mana removal. I'm, I, I considered a version where it's like all like Soren's Thirst and Moment of Craving and stuff like that. Because what's cool about those cards, what would be very cool about those cards, would be kill all the opponent's stuff, get all those triggers. It would feel thematic and flavorful. But Nadu doesn't care. Like all that targeted removal gets you absolutely destroyed against Nadu. Taking their time, huh? Counter spells or no? Need one more black to cast Invoke. Let's go for a bat. Actually, we have all the black we need. What you got? Show me this hand of yours. If they had countered it, I could reanimate it. It would tell us there was definitely something to protect. Curiosity, Brainstorm, Ghost Form. Uh, okay. Uh, Maverick, which they did not play. Witness Protection, Jawari Disruption. I guess I have to take Jawari. They might put Witness Protection on Soren. That's fine. I'm really surprised with the bat coming down. They didn't cast the Brainstorm to hide some stuff, but I guess they wanted to hold up Jawari. And then the hand was a mystery. I'll have to use my memory banks, of which there are fewer all the time. It's a good card. Do they have a fetch land? I, I have two, three life, I guess attack, four life to gain. Uh, let's do it like this though. Out of there. One of the best cards in the deck for sure. Let's get it off the field. They not do. We're looking at Invoke Despair. Would love a food token for a Rite of Oblivion. Okay. Blue mana open. Collective Brutality. What do I need to resolve? Something that removes this. Okay. The Thirst can do it, right? Okay. Uh, we'll go reveal your hand. We will escalate it. Do I extort? Could be a stubborn denial. Could be a few things. We'll decline. Maybe we'll extort on the nightmare thirst. Swan freaking song okay we did not gain life from that so what it, what where does the life currently stand if we cast this what happens if 
we cast this, what happens? It's one life, two life, three life, four life if I attack. And it's a minus. It is minus X. So if they block the bat, that will do. Hold on to your butts. Bone saw is ready. Wait, it's not dead. Why am I so bad at magic? Die. And kneel before your betters. <laughs> I'm the worst at magic. Getting so lowed by silly plays. I'm the worst at magic. Open blue didn't save them last time. I bet they just go bone saw here. Offer. Okay, they're tapped out again. Offers conditions. This is terrible. No, wait, there's the one. That's the one we needed. My creatures get smaller. My spells get cheaper. Grief! That's pretty good. Play this reclamation card. Maybe I'm supposed to be holding these. I mean, I don't know what's going on over there. And I like grief a lot, but I think I need this bat. This bat's going to put in some work. What do you got here? Witness protection. It's fine. Nadu is seven. Offer. I mean, really none of this matters without Nadu, right? Give me that Jwari back. Poke. A little surveil for my opponent. And a scoop. Man, played bad and still tore him a new one. Hey, you're not, not you. <laughs> okay. I am really curious what happens here. Look at that. It's a necropotence hand. Oh my goodness. I mean, they can't deal with enchantments easily. Is this the play? Like, say they just kill Sor and we just get it back. Over and over. Life is a resource. Soren. Let the life gain begin. Signet. Manitive. Nice. Poke. I'm going to fetch a black source. I want to leave up the manitive. They opt in response to an Inquisition. Let's see if they can leave a very expensive hand that gets around Inquisition. I will extort you. <laughs> they could not get around it. This is a land. Rift is whatever. Royal is fine. The One Ring is scary, but we're going to manative it. So I will take their Brainstorm since they also have a fetch land. They definitely just drew the Brainstorm, right? because otherwise they'd brainstorm in response and hide their cheap cards.
I think they're gonna slam the one ring. And I think they're gonna scoop when they get mana tithed. But let's find out. They have considered their options. Yep. <laughs> nah, they didn't give up. How strong they are and brave. Let's get four beautiful cards. I like everything I see right now. I just need more of it. Curse, beautiful. Tower. Oh, tower? Mmm. Mmm, life is good. Life is good, life is good, life is good. Attack first. You might want to extort first. Curse you. Care to counter spell? Yep. Had a feeling they would. Nothing to reanimate. Looks like we're playing tower, drawing a bunch of cards and saying go. <laughs> Let's go, baby. What's the right number? Thirteen? Thirteen's a lot of resources. Yeah, we'll go to 13. It's a lucky number. Oh, Reliquary Tower, you beautiful card. Gabriel Necro Dominance, pure into the abyss. Whew. Oh, baby. You better slam Niv before things get ugly. Things have already gotten. No, you. Okay, think, think, think. There is an angel, right? I can bring it back. Eh, I still have these for the next turn. Let's uh, tap for colorless. Resolve. What a hater. Okay, so. They're definitely not casting Niv. What can I do with this mana? Swamp cycle. Like a real pro would. Probably should have been the uh, Sunwing. Or uh, not even Swamp Cycle, just Cycle. Oh, look at my hand. So much power. So definitely want to gain the life and flip the Soren. The opponent has two bounce spells available. Could cause me some grief. What's the easiest way to gain this life? Play a dinosaur? Cast a big freaking dinosaur? I think just extorting. Actually, I mean, it's Davriel, right? We should play Davriel. And try to get combo ready. Draw three, two random, two random. 
Nope, not that. Draw three is pretty funny because I'm just throwing them away. I guess I'll go with this offer. And I will lose six. No, I'll definitely exile two cards. Two cards are going to get exiled anyhow. Not going to flip. That's okay. We want to have Dismember available. No bounce. Okay. it gonna be <laughs> I feel like I want to overload a cyclonic rift I don't really care if they do I'm gonna bounce my signet uh I black make black mana we're doing that to draw a card sure no you're cool that's it all right uh I draw invoke despair is that the play? I don't know if that's the play. Which enchanter? I still have Necropotence if I want to take my hand to the moon. They're going to scoop. <laughs> I might even blow my own necro there, but as you see, the resources are completely overwhelming. Now that you've heard that generic outro a few times telling you where you can find more sweet MTG Arena content and things like that, let me just say again, thank you to everybody for supporting me while I'm on vacation. I know that it might get a little redundant and you've heard me say the things a few times and this is how I switch it up because I'm even trying to keep you guessing when I'm not here. By the way, today's Mesa Falcon member is... Thank you, editor. Editor, I'll put him there. Hey, hey, name, name of person. You're cool. And to all of you out there, again, thank you very much for watching the videos while I'm on vacation. Staying till the end, even with these outros being a little generic, is the best thing you can do to help the channel. But you can top it off and hit like and hit subscribe. Hopefully I meet some of you in Amsterdam. And uh, in the meantime, enjoy your summer. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Your cool.